<laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel once again it's your girl dumebi leah if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber it's so good to have you here you guys know that i love you welcome back so my usual disclaimer today's video is strictly for educational purposes please do not go searching for anybody that i talk about in this video don't send them any form of hate hate comment threats or violence this channel does not support any of that so as you guys probably know the movie the color purple got released recently and there's been a lot of media run by the cast amongst which are taraji p henson fantasia the say at least just a few of them i haven't seen the movie i plan to see by the way so these people have been going on interviews and tv shows to promote the movie and all of that so recently there have been several clips of taraji talking about the unfair treatment of black women in the movie industry and how they are generally underpaid especially in comparison to their palm colored counterparts and how she has even considered quitting acting because of this now i'm just going to play the clips but bear in mind that i'm going to have to alter it a little just so that i don't get copyright Ted, but I hope you guys understand the gist of the whole thing. And I heard on the street, Roger, you had the audacity to say you're thinking about getting, stopping acting. We said, stop talking. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um, I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. The math ain't mathing. Mm -hmm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. We don't do this alone. The mm -hmm. fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind us. Yeah. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not, that, that didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top, Uncle Sam is getting 50%. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So do the math. Now we have 5 million. Your team is getting 30% or whatever your team is off of what you gross. Like not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm -hmm. So... I just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm only human and, and it seems every time I do something I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again like I never did what I just did and I'm just tired. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get that. It wears on you, you know? Because mm -hmm. what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What does that tell me? What does it tell me? Yeah. And what does it tell me? Yeah. You know? And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the f am I doing? I'm sorry. Yeah. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. What? Yes, ma'am. Who say what? Yeah, it's still not mad and I'm really getting tired of black women having the same story. It's breaking my heart. Like 20 plus in the game, it breaks my heart. It's like every time you achieve something really incredible, it's almost like the industry looks at it as a fluke. Like, ah, oh, that was like some one time thing. So you fall back to the bottom and you got to negotiate and fight tooth and nail to get what you made the last time when where's my raise? I haven't, I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia? So what, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the f why are you here? We are to service each other. God is very clever. He put us on this earth and he made us all look different. He made it complicated. We need to figure it out. And we can. And we are. You have to look at, look at the glass. It's half full. It's always half full. So those clips of Taraji making those observations and complaints went viral. You guys can see that she was moved to tears. And a lot of people have been talking about it and even talking about the fact that Monique said something similar before, but people didn't take her seriously. And I think even backfired on Monique. I heard she was blackballed from the industry and all of that. But now Taraji is saying the same thing. Taraji is amazing, by the way. So basically, people have been awakened to the reality of what it is to be a black person, specifically a black woman in Hollywood. So now I came across this TikTok video made by a black woman in response to what Taraji had to say you know what let me just go right ahead and play her video I don't know I don't know about a lot of celebrities this is exactly why people be talking about how they are disconnected and how they just can't relate because it, it just feels like sometimes they really just don't know what the f is going on I feel like Taraji P Henson coming out and being emotional and complaining about her career and how she hasn't been getting the money that she feel like she deserved and it's just like nobody has been getting the money they deserve we are all being underpaid we're all being overworked and underpaid. You're not the only fucking one. The difference between you and me is that you're being still being paid millions of dollars to do a job that you love. You, you've been working your entire life to do this career. You're being paid millions of dollars to do something that you are passionate and, and, and adore. You know, you, you, love, you love your job. And I'm being paid to do a job I fucking 
hate. I have no choice but to do this job. I have to pay my fucking bills. Paycheck the book, paycheck. You mad because they offered you a million dollars when they were supposed to give you 10. I'm mad because I didn't get the yearly raise they promised us when I got hired. Like, come the fuck on. Then let's talk about why you feel like you deserve millions of dollars for a fucking movie in the first place. Let's talk about that. The fact that we are even living in a society where somebody on a goddamn TV series or somebody in a motherfucking movie um, will make 10 times more money than a motherfucker that went to school for six to eight years to be a brain surgeon or a heart surgeon. Fuck a teacher, a goddamn uh, a firefighter, a fucking cop. People risking their lives for their motherfucking job to save people. These people getting paid forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year. And you complaining because you didn't make the millions of dollars you expected to make on a movie that you've been wanting to do your whole life. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. This, you saying that I'm the one being ignorant, but I feel like it's you who are not hearing other points. Um, you're the one that's kind of being ignorant. I never said she couldn't complain. She should complain. She should be complaining to her peers, people who can actually do something about it, not to people who she literally outranks in terms of finances that can't do shit for her. Like, why are you telling us? What the f can we do? I hope you don't think that I'm going to go on some kind of strike. Unless Taraji P. Henson is about to take a private jet to my job and advocate for me. Do you get what I'm saying here? There's nothing that we can do. So there should be no reason why she is complaining to us. This is the disconnect. And you're talking about um, how I'm complaining about my job. I never complain about my job. Not on the motherfucking internet. I complain about working in general because who the fuck wants to work? But I don't complain about my job. I use my job specifically in this case scenario to use myself as a example because i like many americans are working a job they don't feel like working so they can make some fucking money it's that fucking simple you i don't understand what you are advocating for i don't understand all i'm saying is i don't care that she is being underpaid because i and many other people in the united states are being underpaid and then you completely ignore the other half of the video where I'm talking about how Taraji B. Henson and any actor period shouldn't even be making that kind of money. The fact that we're even having this kind of conversation about a career that shouldn't even be making this kind of money when it is people who are going to fucking school for 10 years to get, to get a career where they still won't make that kind of money. Do you get what I'm saying here? There is more of, there, there's a problem beyond what Taraji P. Henson is talking about. Beyond, don't even complain to me about the millions of dollars that you making in a career where I feel like you shouldn't even be making it in the first fucking place. That shouldn't even be possible when it's teachers out here broke as hell. Now, after watching that, I was like, Ooh, who upset this lady? Who upset her? Because the tone, the things she said, she kind of made it about herself as well because she's like, she's stuck working a job that she doesn't like and all of that. And... Just, there was just a lot of things that she said. There was no empathy. She even felt like Taraji is even getting overpaid and some of the other actors and actresses are getting overpaid for what they do because what they do is not important enough in air quotes because they're not saving lives and putting their lives at risk in the first place, right? So before I talk about what I think, let me just go right ahead and play people's responses to what the sister had to say. And I'm being paid to do a job I fucking hate. I have and somehow this is Taraji's fault and you mad at Taraji because you're being underpaid as well. The only difference is you hate your job. Why didn't you go get a job that you love? How the fuck is this Taraji's fault? And as far as being paid millions of dollars, I think you missed the point of her video. She literally said that she was not making millions of dollars. Did you, did you even watch the video? Or are you so upset with your life that that just, that just it sparked something in you? You don't think that she's worth that much because you don't think that you're worth that much. And then at the end of the video, you tell her, Shut the fuck up. Shut up. You want her to shut the fuck up, but you don't have to. You want her to shut the fuck up and accept the pennies that she getting because that's what you do. You shut the fuck up and accept your pennies. And then you said in your comment section after somebody said, I think her experience is valid. She's speaking from a point of standing up for everyone to fight for a fair pay. And then you said, most people are not in a situation where they can demand their worth. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck that's her problem. Just because you broke as fuck and you don't demand fair pay, or you're not in a position where you could demand fair pay, you think that other people should shut the fuck up too because you don't have better and you're not demanding better. 
So they should do the same thing as you. Like everybody don't want the same life as you. Your life sounds sad. Some people really fight for the lives that they want and some people just lay back and accept whatever comes their way. You sound like the second person. They're gonna make money off of her movies and her TV shows and her streaming for the rest of her life, but she isn't. Not nearly as much money as they're gonna make. And you think that she's asking for too much. Everybody can't go with you on the way up. Everybody just can't. I can only imagine the loaves of bread that people have ate in your face while they gave you crumbs and you sat back and just accepted it. And this is the last part. She's fighting against a system that is going to benefit you as well. And you're telling her to stop. That is crazy. Complaining about her career and how she hasn't immediately you're giving crabs in a barrel you're giving crabs in a barrel it does not matter what field you work in um whether you starting off in fast food or whether you're starting in corporate as a black woman you're going to have to quite literally beg and really advocate for yourself to get what you're worth in every field and the way you're like oh well since i'm miserable and i'm at a job that i hate and i'm getting underpaid then then taraji needs to shut the up because she's making x y and z that is her chosen field but guess what it doesn't matter what field she's in you're missing the point it, like you're missing the entire point if i walk in to a corporate job and as a black woman they offer me two hundred thousand, and my white counterparts with the same position are getting paid five hundred six hundred thousand that is something to be upset about at any level and it's just going whew, right over your head and it's just oh because i'm going through it at the job that i hate then tarashi needs to shut the fuck up no sis that's not it that's not it and it's giving crabs in a barrel okay it's giving crabs in a barrel it's giving steam pot honey it's giving steam pot with extra old bay that's what that's what you're giving millions of dollars to do a job that you love why don't we just break this down in the curious case of Benjamin Button, she was paid 150 k Meanwhile, Brad Pitt was paid $10 million for the same role, same starring role, everything. Same, like, think about that. $10 million versus 150 k for a starring role. That's like you working at Walmart and you making like a good amount, like $20. That's a good amount, right? Versus the person doing the same exact exact job as you and they're making more than quadruple the amount that you're making But you know what? It's still a lot of money. Let's break it down 150k But Taja P. Henson did already break it down, but let me break it down again. So let's just be nice and say that she made 300k 300k and So already the government takes half she already says the government takes 50% 50%, 50%, and now she's left with 150%, but also, she also said that her team takes 30% of the gross thing, not after taxes, but before, so 30% of 300k is 90k, and that leaves her with 60k, I'm gonna just do it like that. So after all of that, she's left with 60k, not even 6 Figures. And that's if it was 300k. So when you really start to think about it, that's not really a lot of money either. But also, but let's disregard that. You said that because she's doing a job that she loves, that she should be okay with taking the pennies. Even though she's invested and is in a starring role in a movie that another actor made $10 million in. It's not like it was a homemade film. It's not like it was a small budget film. It was a hundred and it was a hundred and fifty million dollars that went into that movie and Brad Pitt got ten million dollars and she didn't even get a million. A million. When you put all that stuff into context, it really Yeah, it is wrong. But also you also said this. You said that you're still getting paid millions of dollars to do a job that you love. But let's just, even though she's not making millions of dollars, you think that just because you're doing something that you love or to do a dream that you deserve to get paid less. But really, it only speaks on you. 
she's investing into something that she believes in and enjoys and getting underpaid. Meanwhile, you're doing a job that you hate and you're getting underpaid and you think that she should be grateful that she's in a better position because she chose a profession that she's getting underpaid in versus you who chose a profession that you're still getting underpaid in. Because you think that when it comes to a job, it's a give and take. The more you enjoy the job, the less you should make. The less you enjoy your job, the more you should make. And that's just not how the world should work. That's really not. It's not really how the world works. See, this is exactly what I be talking about. It's one thing we have to endure trials and tribulations from other race, but from our own race. Now I see why you get underpaid because you lack intelligence, boo boo. And it sounds to me that you're looking at celebrities net worth, which is what they do not take home and not looking at the detailed aspects of things, which is what Taraji P. Henson was trying to tell us. And recently I made a video defending Taraji P. Henson's case, which is black actresses do not net worth no more than $50 million compared to Caucasian women who can net worth up to $500 million. That's a big gap, especially when you've been working in the field for over 20 years. And then you were just simply saying that you don't believe that any entertainers should be getting paid more than doctors and lawyers because they spend so much time in school for five, six, seven, eight years and then turn around and have to work 80 hours a week and they only get paid a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars a year. So let me help you out with a little math summary, okay? Let's just say Taraji P. Henson gets paid a million dollars for being in a movie. Off top, Uncle Sam gets his money 50%. So that leaves her with $500,000. And she has a team that she has to pay. Managers, assistants, makeup, stylists, they are all getting paid 30% out of her income. Gross, not net, gross. Each person. So after all of those people are getting paid, she is probably left between two hundred fifty to $300,000. And according to Indeed.com, most doctors are getting paid annually two hundred to four hundred thousand dollars without having to pay uncle sam fifty percent of their income and paying a whole other group of people money out of their checks so technically taraji p henson is telling y'all hey i'm getting paid less than a doctor and another thing you're not understanding doctors lawyers and everyday workers can work whenever however and however much they want to Actors and actresses cannot do that. Once they get under a contract for a certain amount of time, like it can be up to six months, you cannot work for anyone else. So not only are you technically working for free for or a business or paramount, you can't go anywhere to work anywhere else. Therefore, you're relying on all that money to come in and all you see is a doctor's salary. So while doctors and lawyers and all these other workers are getting paid bi-weekly and sometimes monthly, actresses such as Taraji P. Henson have to dedicate six months to 10 months out of a year with no income and have to rely on that little bitty change that comes out of everything else for a whole year. And why do you feel like entertainers lack education? Taraji P. Henson graduated from Howard University. Where did you graduate from? So she has student loans as well as the next doctor and lawyer too. But the difference between her income and a doctor's and everyone else, her checks can come in once or twice or three times a year while theirs come in bi-weekly. Now my race is always the ones complaining about how we don't have leaders. We have nobody defending for our culture because yes, we all are underpaid. Yes, and we all are struggling. But if somebody who already has already paved the way and has already the attention to bring notice to this, why not use that platform to get all of us attention, idiot? Taraji P said it herself. She said it wasn't about her. She is actually trying to pave the way for women that's coming in after her and even just out here in the world. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you are entitled to. Yes, everybody knows how to work. There's probably a lot of entertainers. But if somebody is specifically reaching out to you and wanting you for you, you need to pay them what they deserve. Sweetheart, you settled. You settled and you want everybody else to settle. You are the type of miserable people who sits around here and complain about problems and never try to help solve them. You're being still being paid millions of dollars. This video is crazy in so many different ways because it's like, how dare you be mad and not have any sympathy for somebody who followed their dreams in an industry that has money for them to be paid and set up for life because you don't have any dreams and you don't desire to work. So you have to work a nine to five and live pay pay paycheck to paycheck because 
that's what you desire, but you don't want to, but you just have to to live. So you have no sympathy for somebody who wants to open doors for people who actually have dreams and want to follow those dreams in an industry that can pay them a livable wage. And you're like, I feel no sympathy for you. You're complaining. Like, it's okay to be a hater. And I get bitches be hating all the time. Like everybody, like, you know, people hate, but it's like to have that mindset is so piss poor. It's so piss poor. It's like black people need help, y'all. <laughs> black people need help. That crap in a barrel mentality ain't going to get you nowhere. So now all the stitches I saw definitely kind of reflected the same thing that I thought and how I felt about that woman's video. First of all, when someone is coming out to complain about their pains or their struggles or something that affects them, if you cannot empathize or you don't have anything to say, you keep it moving. Just keep scrolling. I don't see why you should come and make a video and talk about how, oh, you're complaining about this. How about me? This is my situation. Mine is even worse. So keep quiet. Or you should even be grateful. You're even privileged you don't have a right to complain that was exactly what that woman did her whole video was giving mean girl vibes it was giving crabs in a bucket vibe because it's like we're all in the same situation the economy is crappy we are all working jobs we hate basically just telling taraji to shut up and that she cannot sympathize with her because obviously she feels taraji is privileged and overpaid and i'm stunned by her lack of empathy i am stunned by how she made it about herself i am surprised at how she had nothing good to say if this particular woman that made this video was working a terrible job and tired of that she could have made a whole separate video and complained about it not waiting until taraji spoke about this to come and use that to make it all about herself while being mean and criticizing taraji for actually speaking up about her reality it is unfair for her to refuse to acknowledge what taraji said after taraji kind of broke it down how a lot of the money that they are paid ends up not even going into their pocket all the experts expenses they have to make the people they have to pay on their team and on top of that being a celebrity is an actual expensive lifestyle one thing you guys might not know about me i don't know if i've said this on this channel i actually wanted to be a professional singer i have my songs i went to the studio i had started doing performances and all of that but at some point i realized it was too expensive a career and i didn't like the lifestyle that came with you know being in the music industry i think i'm too calm for that lifestyle so i kind of like redirected or let me say god redirected because it didn't happen willingly but i found myself doing youtube and i realized that even if youtube puts me out there it doesn't put me under the kind of pressure that being an actual celebrity from music or from doing movies would make me people might know me but i'm not expected to live a certain kind of lifestyle i'm not expected to keep up appearances and to you know fake it and look all flashy and expensive and spend money that i probably don't even have and that is the reality of a lot of these celebrities so even if at the end of the day the celebrities make the money that they make you have to understand that the kind of lifestyle that they live is a very expensive one you're expected to actually help out people because number one you're more popular people are going to come to you for help your community will look to you for help you're also going to have to maintain a certain standard of living as opposed to someone who may be making as much money as you in another field but because they don't have that celebrity status they don't have to keep up appearances i hope you guys are understanding what i'm trying to say so that aside i don't know how a black woman would get on the internet and make a video and tell another black woman not to complain about the bias in the industry when taraji has said it and even we as black people very well know that black people in the same industry in an industry that is controlled and dominated by palm colored people definitely do not get paid as much as their counterparts and you're telling that black woman to shut up that she should even be grateful that she's making so and so amount of money another thing taraji also said which struck me is the fact that she hasn't gotten a raise in years even when as a black woman you play a role in a movie and the movie does really well and you get paid well it is hard for them to actually up your earnings from there you don't start getting paid more simply because you had one movie that made it the entertainment industry does not have a salary structure it's not like working in any other profession where you know okay in so and so number of years of working in this profession i should have made it to so and so position where i'd be liable to earn so and so amount of money you could be in the entertainment industry for 20 years and not be earning as much as someone who has been there for five years so the 
amount of time you spend in the industry does not directly impact what you're going to make and the amount of successful movies and projects you've been a part of does not directly determine how much you're going to get paid unfortunately there's no salary structure there's no specific laid out growth pattern or ladder you have to climb in the entertainment industry that determines your financial worth on how much you're going to get paid on movies that you feature in so it would actually surprise a lot of people to know that a lot of our favorite celebrities you know musicians singers actors don't even get paid as much as we think they make and the irony is truly a lot of people are overworked and underpaid that is a system we live in now that is the economy a lot of people have to deal with but instead of this lady to have directed her anger and her frustration to the system she's directing it at taraji because she's like oh well you have it better than us so what right do you have to complain and there were actually some people in the comment section who said the same thing that they cannot feel sympathy for her because she's a millionaire she's famous while there were people on the other hand who felt like no you should not say this you should also have sympathy because we're all passing through the same thing so i want to know what side of the argument you guys are on watching this video please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye